I want to talk about um, sharpening your knife. I'm not actually going to do any sharpening, but I uh, want to talk about maintaining it and maintaining the performance over the life of the knife um, as you sharpen it. As you sharpen the knife, I mean, it's not rocket science. When you sharpen a knife, you're going to be removing steel from your knife edge. Um, and the knife, I don't know if you can see on this PM2 here, it's starting to get a recurve where I'm removing metal. I've also um, am thinning the edge out as I go along. What happens, not so much, we're not really in a, uh, a Scandinavian style knife because when you're sharpening these, you're actually sharpening the whole bevel. The, you don't have, if a true Scandinavian knife doesn't have a secondary um, bevel. So you've got this primary that you sharpen and as you sharpen, you keep uh, removing the same amount of steel. So as the knife um, steel gets sharpened up, you're actually bringing the knife up the edge to maintain the cutting performance. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Scandinavian style knives, but sharpening a, whether it's a flat grind, a convex grind, even a hollow grind, as you sharpen the knife, <clears throat> Again, you start bringing the edge up higher on the spine, towards the spine of the blade. And in this flat grind here, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, basically a, a wedge. Now, a knife like <clears throat> this Scandinavian style knife, it doesn't have that secondary bevel, so you basically have the edge coming all the way down. Most knives, and this is, basically just a cross section. You have the edge of the knife blade, and then it has a secondary bevel on it. And this would be the, the actual edge of the knife. Now there, of course, there's a, another side where these two will meet, but this is your edge. <clears throat> and as you sharpen the knife, you will be bringing this knife edge further and further up the blade <clears throat> and as you do that your knife gets thicker and you start losing cutting performance now um, one of the ways that you can um, combat that a little bit is this shoulder here where the secondary I call this a secondary edge meets the primary grind you can as you sharpen you can knock that shoulder down a little bit and thus you kind of start keeping it um, a little bit thinner but that only works for so long until you really start getting thicker over time of uh, the use of the knife and sharpening. So what you need to do at some point in time is actually remove metal from the primary grind a little bit. As you can see on this PM2 here, that line is where I've been removing metal higher than that shoulder to keep the edge thinned out as I sharpen it, and that helps to maintain the cutting performance of this knife. Now also, I've thinned this knife out a little bit uh, more, but the same principle applies. You bring that edge bevel on up the spine, towards the spine of the knife to thin the knife out to maintain the cutting performance. You get a knife, it cuts well over a period of time as a knife thickens during sharpening, it's just not gonna cut as well. And so you have to either, at this point in time, get another knife, or maintain your tool to maintain the cutting performance that you want. So just to kind of give you a quick demonstration, here we got one side of the knife. It needs to be sharpened. And as we sharpen it, we're gonna remove metal and the knife is going to get thicker. <laughs> Now that's a real obtuse angle there, but that's not the point. The point is, as you sharpen the knife and remove metal, your knife will get thicker. And as it gets thicker, you will lose cutting performance. So you can knock down the shoulder a little bit.
and you can see that I've knocked the shoulder down a little bit and that's starting to thin the knife out. Or you can, if you need to, go more drastic. When I say drastic, you can remove more steel. Then you start bringing that primary grind down more to thin the blade. And that will help maintain that cutting performance. But yes, the more you do that, the less knife steel you have. And you are going to eat up the life of the knife some. But your knife's a tool. And if it doesn't cut the way you want it to or the way it used to cut, then it's not that effective of a tool anymore. Anyway, hope that helped.